Delicious warmth surrounds me from the goose-down quilt that covers me while delicate lips nuzzle at my neck. I don't respond to my husband at the moment. I'm happily immersed in the same black stallion dream that I've had since childhood. There he is in the distance, wild and free and frolicking like a colt, whirling and prancing and challenging the wind. What a magnificent sight. Sensing that I'm looking at him, he stops abruptly. Slowly, he canters up to me and we stare at each other for a long time. His breathing increases in intensity while he seems to be speculating on his next move. <laughs> Enough of this. I will need to get up soon. Today is my 83rd birthday and preparations must be made for the family party. But not yet. I lie still and allow the lips to wander down my neck to my shoulder. And the dream continues. My feelings for him and the bond between us have always been palpable and intense. The stallion presses his head against my pillow. He's trying to seduce me into mounting onto his back. But I'm afraid. Come to me. Now is the time he cajoles. Beside me, my husband's kisses grow more insistent. My name is Siegfried, and we belong together, the horse neighs softly. Although I'm still wrapped in delicious warmth, the dream is now broken and I'm awake. How silly of me. It's my husband who's Siegfried, not my childhood horse. I force my body upright and glimpse at the other side of the bed as I rise, but the bed is empty. Of course he's not there, I chide myself. Siegfried died 20 years ago. All of a sudden I'm sure, and I'm no longer afraid. I will not celebrate my birthday with my family tonight. I reach up my arms to the solid neck that leans over me and entwine my fingers into my horse's mane. Put on a warm cloak, my dear, he whispers. I slide out of bed and easily mount onto his back. The dream is over. Yes, now is the time. My stallion and I will finally journey off together.